Oh, I'm very excited. This is a very special night for us. Yeah. Tell me what's gone into this event. Seven months worth of enormous amounts of time and effort and huge amounts of university funds and department funds, all to make this night possible. And would you say it's the biggest uh, pup production Elon's ever done? This is the largest scale production we've ever done. It's not the largest cast, but definitely as far as costumes and scenery and props and lighting, this is the biggest thing we've ever done. How about the show that, that goes along with the production? Well, this is an amazing opportunity for us to have been selected to be one of the six pilot schools to produce Phantom uh, first in the amateur market. So it's, a, it's been generating an enormous amount of excitement, and we've been very excited about it. You're doing some special things tonight for the production. Tell me about those things. Sure. Well, this night is a scholarship fundraising night, so every single ticket in the auditorium tonight costs between $30 and $500. Uh, donors received for their gifts things that range from a dinner over in the Mosley Center, a reception afterwards, a backstage tour, depending on which package they had. Great. Well, I'm Jeff Masters. I'll be doing the talk on costumes. I'm a freshman BFA acting student. And, well, let's start. Here we have Meg, Meg Jerry. Let's say penguin. Oh, it's actually a peacock. Who knows? But this is her masquerade. And this is our famous Christine. Do you see the detail on this, the ruffling? You guys can take a look. Feel free to come in touch. Do you all make these? We, make, we made every costume in the show. Over 240 costumes were made. Half of those we made right here in the shop. 45% we pulled from our stock from other shows, and 5% of those we borrowed from Orlando Shakespeare Theater. And over 3,600 man hours were put into building of the costumes and going through this. A thousand of those were by Jack, our costume designer. And a thousand seven hundred were student hours paid from like me, our assistant costume designer, Bill Giggy, and other workers you see here. And that's about a thousand eight hundred pounds of costume. And three thousand six hundred rhinestones. So it's gonna be a sparkly show. <laughs> So they did the math on the man hours of it, and to get four people working 40 hours a week, it would take about seven months to do all of the work that we put up in one month just to put up this scene, the set. So this has just been really a, a, a great process for everyone, just a, a great learning experience, and it, it's just been incredible. Uh, Brian? Um, we have about 200 or so lighting instruments in this show on our four electrics that are hanging over the stage um, and about 200 or so light cues and we also have two new lights that we're debuting with this show. Um, they're intelligent moving fixtures that are out um, on our apron pipe over in the front of the stage so you'll see those uh, come up a few times throughout the show but this is the first show that we've used, um, our department has used at Elon with the new intelligent lights. Up on stage, you have 21 uh, orchestra members, which I believe is the largest orchestra we've had in the pit here at Elon, and we have 25 crew members. And what goes into the crew, these are people backstage, up in the booth, we have stage managers, assistant stage managers, we have spot ops that are up on the very top of the grid, where you ever see the spotlight, they're up there constantly on their bellies, holding the spotlight. We have. We have people inside the stairs that are literally going to be moving the stairs throughout the show. We have, we have props people on the side, costume people on the back, 25 crew members. That's something to think about. And uh, right now we're going to tell you a little bit about the schedule that goes into preparing to do the show, doing the show, and what happens after the show. So about three hours prior to curtain, um, the actor playing the Phantom arrives to put on his elaborate makeup that he has to wear for the show. About a half an hour later, the crew arrives and they, you know, they sweep the stage, they clean, they put up the props, they make sure everything's set up perfectly. And then two hours prior to curtain, the rest of the acting company arrives. They do physical warm-ups for the dancers, vocal warm-ups, as you can hear. <laughs> and they were just singing really loud. And, um, and then they have last-minute notes, any last-minute notes from the stage manager, from anybody. Then they do a mic check, and there are 15 actors in the show that have body mics, and they're like wires that come up, and you, you know, put them in your hair. And they do mic checks so they get the sound levels correct, they make sure all the equipment is working for the sound. And then after all that is done, they have a fight call in which they rehearse the fight sequences in the show. You know, they do them in slow motion, make sure everything is completely safe. 
Uh, this is followed by if there's if there's a need for any tiny little brush up rehearsals on the stage where they need to use the space, they do that. I don't think they're having any tonight. Everything is ready to go. But uh, an hour after that, you know, everybody moves backstage into the costume. Put, they go put their costumes on, start putting their makeup on. Everybody gets ready, you know, mentally prepared for the show. About 30 minutes prior, when the house is open and the and the audience starts coming in, you hear the orchestra start warming up because they start arriving half hour individually, warming up their instruments, trying to get a feel for the room and everything. What's interesting is that following the show, all those 25 crew members that I was talking about earlier, most of them have to stay after and stay about an hour after to put up everything that was used during the show. Costumes, props, any flies that get pulled from the top in the middle of the show, they have to be lowered, replaced again for the next show. So you have a total of about seven-ish hours that go into producing the show from before it starts, while it's going, and after the show. Keep in mind that most of these people are students who have class up until they have to be here, grab a bite to eat, do all this stuff, about seven hours worth, go home, do homework. So I mean, this is quite quite a lot of dedication that goes into putting up this show. Oh, this is this is definitely my favorite work I've done so far. It's definitely very taxing, very tiring. But um, I mean, I played a lot of leads, but none like this. This is like this is very, I mean, this is very emotional. This is very guttural. This is very different from anybody I've ever played. So it's a blast. I'm so excited about this show. Um, I'm also very emotional because I'm that kind of person. I think I've cried like 10 times already tonight. We're ready. We are ready. It's a huge production. It has pushed us in, it has pushed the production staff in ways that we've never been pushed before. And so we've learned all kinds of new things and that's been really exciting for us. It's also pushed the students in ways that they haven't been pushed before. And so that's a really great thing. And um, it's very grand, and so I'm excited for tonight, and every night is going to bring something wonderful. It's exhilarating, uh, unbelievably exhilarating, nervous, energy, excitement, and exhilaration above all else. Put Phantom on the uh, pantheon of productions here at Elon. Uh, unfortunately, yet fortunately, we have set the bar really high on this show. It, has been, it is a masterwork of a lot of artisans, students, faculty alike. It is a spectacular experience, and I just wonder what we're going to do next. How are we going to top it? Thank you for supporting the Department of Performing Arts and what I think is simply the best group of faculty and students in the country. <laughs> Open up your mind and let your fantasies unwind. <laughs> and listen to the music of the night.